Hey everybody, Thomas Morgan here with 1031navigator.com. This episode is a mini-sode. It is an excerpt pulled from our recent conversation with Aaron Crowley from Asset Preservation Inc. Asset Preservation is one of the largest qualified intermediaries in the country. This episode explores a specific listener 1031 question. And remember, if you're looking to move from a management intensive property or a low or no income property into a secure long-term net lease property that provides peace of mind, then go to 1031navigator.com slash free, and I'd be happy to provide a free 1031 replacement property consultation. I only do a couple of these a month, and right now I only have one left. You can go to 1031navigator.com slash free. Enjoy the show. The next question, we kind of already touched on it, but is a 1031 exchange worth it? There are times that it will not be worth it when you are buying down. If somebody says, I'm downsizing, I pretty much know that it's not going to be worth it unless they're going to augment it with something else or, or buy it. But if they're like, I'm selling, I, I, I laugh because up in your area, I have somebody who's selling their $11 million property, they're downsizing to a $9 million <laughs> property. And it blows my mind that that's a downsize. But in that case, if their gain is, is $2 million and they're downsizing, they're paying the tax no matter what. If their gain is five million and they're downsizing, yes, it's still worth it. You're you're exchanging three million. You're 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 deferring some and you're paying tax on some. So there will be times that it is not worth it, and it, it's a very much case by case basis. And that's all based on how many times you've exchanged before, what the values going in and out of those exchanges were, and what your well, basis even if you is. didn't exchange before and you just bought property well and. You know, up here and in Denver, you know, you could buy something and it's, it's appreciating right. okay. um, exponentially. So you can make a, a big gain. And when you figure the taxes, I don't know if we have a thing on the taxes, but you've got four level of taxes. You've got depreciation recapture at 25%. You've got federal tax at, at 15 or 20%. Um, when we're talking investment of, of, of nature that the people you work with, they're going to be at that 20%. You have a net investment income tax that is what they call the Obamacare tax or the affordable care tax that didn't get repealed with just administration. So we still have that. We probably will for a while. That's 3.8, you know, additionally. And then on top of that, a state tax. So if you're in California or New York, wow. Um, Colorado is only 4.63. So those four levels, if even if I have a little bit of, of, of savings, because that, that tax level is so high, at least 30 plus percent, a 1031 exchange is almost always worth it. Um, so even if you're just saving a little, you're saving enough to buy yourself. I, I, when I'm going to say, why are you paying me to save 3000 He says, without that 3000 I couldn't buy the next property that is going to make me 10000 mm. So it's a case by case, but, but more often than not. It, it depends on... What you know, what your personal situation is and exactly. in, in, in your your overall tax exactly. situation. Exactly. That does it for today's listener question. Hopefully you got some real value out of that. To ask your own commercial and investment real estate question related to 1031 exchanges and or triple net properties or other passive income real estate, please visit 1031navigator.com slash ask. Again, that's 1031navigator.com slash ask. You can also leave a question by leaving a direct voicemail at the podcast hotline, 970-300-1994. Again, ask your question by leaving a voicemail at 970-300-1994. Thanks for listening to the 1031 Exchange Passive Income and Investment Series. Hopefully it's helping you create Build and protect your wealth. Talk to you soon. And remember, this show is provided for your informational and educational purposes only. Be sure to check with your accountant, lawyer, and or other tax professionals and advisors before relying on this information. Although the information contained herein is believed to be accurate and reliable, we do not guarantee its accuracy or completeness, and it is provided without warranty. Common sense is the best practice.